Hi you one, today we are looking at the concept of time. I hope you enjoyed your first time lesson yesterday with Mr Jones. In year one we focus on being able to tell o'clock and half past time and then we move on to quarter two and quarter past time. They're the four areas of time that by the end of the year you need to know. Today we're focusing a little bit on half past and maybe reviewing some o'clock. With your arms, can you make one long arm like a clock and one short arm like a clock? Here you can see the black arm is short and the blue arm is long. The short arm, hold it up. The short arm points to our hour, what hour of the day it is. Here it's 11 o'clock or in the 11th hour. The long arm, hold it up, is showing us the minutes, how many minutes past the hour it is. So this time is 11.30 or we can call that half past 11. We can use our fractions like half and quarter to help us tell the time or we can skip count by fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 to tell the minutes. All right, just a bit of a quick quiz. We did some learning about time already last term. So some of these questions you should already know. Can you either, if you're at school, tell the teacher, at home, tell the person next to you, or if no one's around, write it down. How many seconds are there in a minute? Did you say 60? Give yourself a tick if you did. Or a pat on the back if you're at school or at home with a parent. How many minutes are in an hour? Trick question. Did you say 60 again? How many minutes are there in half an hour? There's our fraction word. Remember, if I have a whole circle, half is if I draw a line down the middle and I've only got half. Think if I have a pie, and I give you half the pie. I draw a line straight down the middle and I only give you what's on one side. That's half. It's the same with a clock. It's round. If the long hand is pointing right down the bottom, it's like it's gone around half the clock. So we call that half an hour. How many minutes are there in half an hour? Did you say 30? I hope so. How many days are there in a month? About 28 to 31. We know that we um, sing the days of the month song, sing the months of the year song, sorry, or we can use the trick on our knuckles to work out how many days are in each month. Because it's COVID and we can't sing, let's go with the knuckle one. <laughs> so make two fists, like a superhero you one. Put them together. All right, to work out how many days there are in each month, you're going to count across Knuckle Ridge, Knuckle Valley. Knuckle Ridge, like a mountain, Knuckle Valley. Can you feel those? Like mountain valley, mountain valley, mountain valley, mountain. And then when we put it together, we've got two mountains side by side in the middle. Mountain, mountain, it skips across. We're going to imagine that they are the months of the year. So it's like, let's go, January is on the mountain, February is in the valley. March is up here. April's down here. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. And now we've got two knuckles together. So we're going to cross July mountain, August mountain, swap to the other hand. September's down low, October's up high, November's down low, December's up high. Now, if you said the name of a month on a high ridge, That month has 30 days. If you said the name of a month on a low ridge, sorry, high ridge is 31 days, low ridge is 30 days. February is an exception because it can have 28 or 29 days depending on if it's a leap year. And leap years are a really fun thing you might like to do some research into and learn about during online learning. How many days are there in a year? Call it out. Did you say 365? Wow. All right. 
here we can see the fraction I was talking about. A whole clock face, draw a line down the middle, this side is half a clock face. So if the long hand is pointing down, it started on the O clock up here and it went halfway around the clock and stopped. So we call that half past, whatever the little hands on, half past 11, half past one, half past three, half past eight. A clock is made up of two halves, half over here, half over there. How many minutes then make up half of an hour? Remember these numbers here, you have to skip count by five. That's why they've done this outer layer of blue. So it's like five, count with me, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So the minutes aren't actually six minutes because each of these little spokes is actually a minute. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm skip counting by five because there's actually five little spokes in this segment here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, another five between these two numbers. So I can add on another five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, add on another five. That's why I'm skip counting by fives because there's five little dashes within each two minute numbers or hour numbers. So these dashes are actually the minutes. We only read these big black numbers for the small hand for the hour. So this would be like one o'clock, but if the long hand's pointing there, it's five minutes. So if the long hand is pointing all the way down, it's not six minutes. How many minutes is it? 30 minutes. There's 30 minutes in half an hour. Say it back to me. There's how many minutes in half an hour? There's 30 minutes in half an hour. Whisper it to the person next to you. If you're at home, pretend imaginary friend. There's 30 minutes in half an hour. Say it like a cat. There's 30 minutes in half an hour. When it is 30 minutes past the hour, we call that half past because it's half the clock. Look at this time. The big hand is pointing at the six, which is halfway around the clock. Where is the small hand pointing? Is it on the number or is it in between the numbers? Oh, it's halfway between one and two. That's another clue that we've got half past six. These hands are always spinning. If you watch the clock really closely, year one, you'll see that they're always really, really slowly moving. So it's not just going to stay on the one for the whole hour. He's slowly going to move between the one and the two over the course of the hour. Really, really slowly. This short hand moves so slowly. It takes him a whole hour to get from this hour to this hour, from one o'clock to two o'clock. All right, what time do you think this is showing? Remember that clockwise direction, so the arrows, the hands are always moving in this direction. So that means that the short black hand has just gone past the 11. He's not quite at the 12 yet. So it's not 12 o'clock something, it's 11 o'clock something. He's just gone past the 11, so we're still in the 11th hour. We haven't quite made it to the 12th. What time is it? Did you say half past 11? What do you notice about the small hand? Did you notice it's halfway between the three and the four? So if I'm moving in that clockwise direction, I've just gone past the three. I'm not quite at the four. So what o'clock is it? It's in the three o'clock. But it's the big hand is not pointing up at the 12. Remember, o'clock is when the hands are, when the long hand is right up top. The long hand's just right down bottom. And I know that that's my half past time. So it's half past three. This hand has moved halfway past the three. clock is showing half past two. Point with your fingers. Did you say that one? Which clock is showing half past nine? Point. 
do this one. The hour hand's gone halfway past the nine. He's not quite at the 10. And my half past arm is pointing straight down. And last one, which clock is showing half past seven? Remember, I can also call this 7.30, 9.30, 2 .30. I can call it by its minutes or I can call it by a fraction. Half past 7, 7.30, half past 9, 9.30, half past 2, 2.30. All right, you one. Today I have for you a seesaw activity that looks like this. I want you to drag the times to the correct clocks. We've got some o'clock, remember o'clock is the big hand pointing straight up to the 12, and some half past. Half past is the big hand pointing straight down to the six. Once you've done that, there's gonna be a digital resource um, linked below on Sector. This is really fun, I just want you to have a play. Um, you can click real time and it'll show you what time it is. It'll show you in digital form. We call this clock face analog form in this digital form. You can reset him, you can add some times, play it with fractions, see your quarters. Have a little play around with this today. Oh, some angles, that's really tricky. Get some random times with a dice, try and call it out. What time is it? What time is it? What time it is, is it? Have some fun and there'll be a YouTube video to watch as well. Have fun with your learning today.